Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here, and today we're asked to simplify this expression. And our expression has three different terms, and each one is a different radical. Now, remember, in order to combine radicals, they need to have the same index, and they need to have the same radicand. Now, the index is the little number attached to the radical, so the first two have an index of three. And then the radicand is the number inside the radical. So we have 16, 2, and 2. Now, none of these are similar radicals at this point. But there's a possibility of rewriting the first one to combine with the second one because they have the same index. And we know that a root of 16 can be simplified. It's not a prime number. So our first step is to see, is there a way to rewrite that first radical so that it has the same radicand as the second? So the radicand of our second is a two. So we wanna know, is 16 something times two? Well, 16 is eight times two. And we also know that eight is the same as two cubed. So, this first radical is really the cube root of two cubed times two. And when you take the cube root of this two cubed, you get a two. So the coefficient in front is going to be two times the two that we got from the cube root of two cubed. And left behind, we have the cube root of two. And our second term stays as the cube root of 2, and our last term is the square root of 2. Now this first term simplifies, 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 4 cube root of 2 plus the cube root of 2 minus the square root of 2. Now notice that those first two radicals now have the same index, 3, and they also have the same radicand of 2. So we can combine these. And since we're adding them, we're adding 4 cube root of 2 plus, there's an imaginary 1 in front here, 1 cube root of 2. So we have 4 plus 1, which is 5 cube root of 2. And this last square root of 2 at the end stays because it isn't the same as the first term. The index is different, so we can't combine them. So this is our simplified version.